What is up guys? Sophie Soaps here to teach you the easiest ways to paint some really cool custom watch bands. Before we start, I just want to note that these bands are leather material and will work well with our paint. First things first, we're going to grab our leather preparer and deglazer and prep all three sets of our watch bands by using a cotton ball to remove the previous finish. Next, we're going to jump right into our first band by using a combination of a paintbrush and stencils. So I have a checkered stencil as well as some smaller smiley faces to make a really clean and easy custom. Let's see how the process goes. Here I'm just laying down some transfer tape on top of our stencil and then applying pressure to it so that when I peel, the vinyl will come off of its backing and onto the transfer tape. And then I'm just cutting it to shape according to the size of our watch band. Then we can just place that onto our band, apply more pressure, and the transfer tape should peel off pretty easily once it's on its surface. From here, we can start applying our black paint into the empty spaces of the stencil. My advice on getting the best results is to apply thin coats of paint within the shapes rather than globbing a ton of paint over the whole thing. Tracing the inside of the shapes will give the cleanest results possible. Once you've added about three to four coats, it's time to remove the stencil square by square. And from here, you can touch up any imperfections or areas where the paint may have leaked through a bit. All right, now that we're stencil pros, let's apply the smiley faces the same way we did before. Lay some transfer tape over them, apply that to our watch bands, and remove the transfer tape for a ready-to-go stencil. And for the coloring, I have a yellow mixture that consists of flat white, yellow, and orange. We can apply a few coats of that for some really vibrant smiley faces. Now the only thing left to do is remove the stencil, add black in the eyes and mouth, and then apply some forecoat to protect our custom as well as give it a little sheen. Moving on to our next band, we're going to use a similar approach with stencils, however, we're going to be combining that with an airbrush. So if you don't want to worry about any bleeding with the paintbrush, this airbrush method can be used as well, which we'll take a look at next. So to start out, let's apply our stencil to the band, apply pressure, and peel away the transfer tape. Now that that's ready to go, let's talk about our colors. In order to allow these three colors to fade into each other, they need to have the same components. So my yellow mixture is a mix of flat white and yellow, then I added more orange to create the second color, and added more red to create the third color. So basically, all three colors were made from the same base, which will make the fading a lot easier. Next, it's time to bust out our airbrush. This fade can also absolutely be done with a brush, however, fading with an airbrush is a lot easier and super satisfying when you get those smooth gradients. So I've loaded my first color yellow into my gun and I'm going to apply light coats to one portion of the band. Another trick I use to merge the colors together is to not clean out the gun completely during this whole process. There was still some yellow in the gun before loading orange, however those two will mix together to help get more of a natural fade. So without cleaning the gun, I loaded in red and I'm finishing off the fade with a light and even mist. Be sure to clean the gun out completely after finishing the last color. Now it's time to remove the stencil and see how awesome our results are. To be honest, it looks amazing on a white background, but I'm going to make it a bit more dramatic by adding a black background behind the flames. Alright, moving on to our last watch, I'm going to start out with my red mixture, which is a mix of chili red, red, and flat white. I'm gonna apply about three to four coats of this until the band is fully saturated. Now that our watch band is fully saturated and looking really nice, we're going to use a really cool method that involves white graphite tracing paper. Basically, all we need to do is lay our watch down, lay some white graphite paper over it, tape it down just to make sure everything stays in place, and then tape a printout of our pattern on top of the band as well. From here, we just need something with a fine tip that we can apply pressure to over the transfer paper. Basically, what's happening while we color the image in is the white graphite is transferring to the watch band in the areas we apply enough pressure to. So I'm just thoroughly going over the pattern with my pencil to get the best transfer possible. Once you've gone over the whole image, you can remove the paper to reveal your white lines underneath. It comes out as sort of a colored pencil looking finish, so I went over all the white lines again with flat white paint to give it that finished painting look. Now that the white lines are dialed in, the rest is going to be really easy. To finish off the pattern, I just grabbed some black and added in some random lines and shapes around the white areas to really give it that paisley look. And lastly, we're just going to apply some forecoat to protect our custom from scratching or scuffing. Mm -hmm. 